Okay, very quickly, just want to go over smart city technology and what that is and just remind you how using this technology could become a more sustainable city. So we're really talking about using Internet of Things and we're talking about what we can do with data that is collected and generally through sensors. So not just talking about solar panels or using public transport. So remember, these are ways in a variety of different smart technology and smart devices that we can use to either collect or transmit some of the data that might be useful, all right? So smart transportation, we're not talking about just using public transportation. We might be talking about how we move this transportation through sensors on the ground. It might detect that there's not many vehicles in the area, so they might turn the lights green and help keep things flowing and reduce congestion. Smart parking, we've got that here in Singapore and we'll talk more about that. And we're looking at using smart lighting, which has a number of benefits and contributes to a more sustainable and more environmentally friendly atmosphere as well. So smart parking, using sensors, you can see here number one, there's no vehicle in the car park. So the sensor picks that up, it transmits data to a central server, so somewhere like the cloud. All right, so number two from there, generally an individual will have an app on their phone, so that data is transmitted to the app. It will tell us, it can guide us where the nearest free car park is, and generally if I have to pay for that, I can also pay on the app as well. So saving a lot of time, moving us around a lot more efficiently. Smart waste collection, all right, so this is using sensors on our rubbish bins, so basically it will read the amount and the volume of trash in each of the respective bins. It will collect information, transmit that information. You can see here we've got sensors in the bins. Information is then transmitted. So again, data is collected here and sent out to our truck driver. So that means he doesn't have to come every week if the bin is empty. However, if there's been an event in an area and the bin's looking like this and it's overflowing, so it might have had a festival or a market, uh, then it sends out information, it's sent to a driver, this bin is incredibly full, come and pick it up, all right? So we don't have to have the eyesore, the issues with overflowing bins, okay? So there's a reduction in cost. As a result, we might not have to unnecessarily send vehicles out, all right? Over here, we can analyze data and ultimately will reduce our CO2 emissions and hopefully reduce congestion in some areas as well. Because we don't have to have trucks on the road going out to and from unnecessarily as well. So contributing to a more sustainable city. This isn't as, uh, as sustainable, but it's something we're looking at using smart technology. So self-driving automated vehicles, all right? So again, how they connect and collect information. So using onboard sensors, smartphones from pedestrians, cyclists, traffic sensors, and parking detectors. So again, this is in progress. All right, smart street lighting. So we're using this here in Singapore and we're developing this a lot further. So basically I have a transistor. It's turned on in the evening. All right, so that means that basically if there are vehicles in a particular area, a sensor will pick that up and the lights will glow. If they're not, then they won't. All right, so again, saving on electricity costs and the amount of energy that we need, so reducing our greenhouse gas emissions as a result. All right, so there are a few things that we use. There are a lot more. 